In this tutorial, I will show you how to open up your Toyota Prius key fob to change the internal battery at home. Uh, now this device was used on Priuses that dated 2004 to 2009, and it takes one of these CR2032 batteries to run. Um, now if you'd like to go into those batteries online or you're not sure where to pick one up, um, I will leave a link down in the description to get one on Amazon for just a couple of bucks. Now uh, jumping right into it, the first step here is to look at the bottom hold down this switch and just pull out the internal key. So go ahead, hold that down. And mine is a little stuck. So pull that thing out Can set that down to the side. And now we're actually going to use the same switch, hold that down and push up on the back of the device. Once again, with our key out, we are holding the switch while we push with our thumb just to slide this little piece of plastic off. I can set that to the side. Now, here we have a little bit of a hurdle to jump over. You will need a small screwdriver, small enough to remove these uh, little Phillips head screws. So, in my arsenal of screwdrivers, I own, the only one that worked for me was this very small precision um, flathead screwdriver that uh, was just the right size. Something larger, even some of my other precision screwdrivers felt like I was stripping the screw. Um, so this is the one I had to use. Uh, try to use what you have lying around, give it a try first, but don't put too much pressure. pressure. If, if you strip these screws, you won't be able to change your battery. So um, I would recommend this product here because uh, this is exactly what I'm using. And um, this is just a couple bucks on Amazon. You get a couple different sizes there. So I'll put a link in the description if you are interested or if you do not have the tool to get this done, definitely check that out and you'll get this screwdriver here. Um, and once you have the right size, it's really not that difficult. The problem is over the years, because most of the time these batteries or these key fobs really never get opened up or maybe every couple of years they get opened up and the screws kind of get stuck in there maybe a little rust or a little gunk gets in there so they can be stuck uh, pretty good the first time you try to remove them. So just be careful, set your four little screws to the side and uh, once you have them all out, we're just gonna use the same tool to go in this little area up, the, up in the top and just pry this little piece of plastic off. From here, um, all you need to do is kind of push on the bottom of the battery with your finger. You just push on it right where this little uh, this little thing that's holding it in. You just want to push with your thumbnail and it will pop out a little bit and then you can kind of just pull it out with your finger. So it might take a couple of tries. You, you can also use your tool here. You're just pushing on this little bottom part and it will click out. And once you do it, it will just feel right. You'll feel it snap out and then you can pull it out with your fingers. Once again, this is a 2032 battery. Make sure that is what you're using. And when you put it in, make sure the positive side is going face up. So you just simply slide that back in there, plus side facing up, and uh, we can just begin to put this back together. So push this down first so that it's sitting flush before you try to screw in these little screws here. And um, when you're putting them in, don't over screw them so it's really difficult if you ever need to do this again. Just a little kind of finger tightness as I will show you. So just go ahead and start to put these back in. And once you find that they're in there, just finish. Don't twist too hard. Don't put your whole wrist into it. Just like that. just tightening these screws. And go ahead, finish that up. And all, of course, all we need to do is slide that back piece of plastic back on. So finish that up. Now we are going to position this, sit this down so that it's right on the edge here. It's not sticking up. And then we just slide it down. And you will need to hold down this switch one more time to pull in that little piece so that you can push it down. Oops. And uh, once you have pushed it past that little piece, now it's secure, it will not slide out again. And you can just put your internal key back in there. 
and uh, you can test it out. See that that light comes on, that means your battery is charged and uh, you followed all the, uh, the steps correctly. So good job on that. And uh, that, that's it, you're done. I hope that was helpful for you. And if it was, feel free to let me know down in the comment section or just give the video a like so that it can uh, help someone else. And if you ever need help changing another one of your batteries, we have tutorials for pretty much every maker model here on YouTube. And um, you can check those out or visit us directly at fobbattery.com.